Hi friends, it's Suzanne. Welcome to another Monday Makes video on my YouTube channel and blog. For today's project, I am still featuring the simple designs to mass produce Christmas cards and achieve a pretty result. I have been asked many times to share how I cut paper. This is my Whimsy and Wonder designer series paper and I am lining up at the five and a quarter size. Uh, and then slicing through two pages. I'm being careful because this is directional. So I want this to be wide. And then I'm moving into my four inch slices. So this pattern paper is uh, five and a quarter wide and four inches tall. And I'm not 100% sure why I was asked how to, how I cut, but you know, I'm, I'm here to please. If you have an, if you have a question, I'm certainly happy to help you out so that you can visually see what I'm doing. So I have a pile of, that would be card front sizes. So while I'm stamping, uh, first of all, I'll tell you the stamp set. It's called Christmas to Remember. I am stamping with Misty Moonlight and that little sentiment piece is two and a half inches wide and one and a half inches tall. And again, um, you will see, so on the left, you're going to see my misty moonlight card base. And then next to that, above the ink pad, there's another little piece of pattern paper. It's the back side of the pattern paper you can see. And that is three and a half inches wide and two and a half inches tall. And you can see now I'm adhering my sentiment pieces to that piece. And then I'm matting one more time. So that uh, white piece of basic white card is three and 11 sixteenths by two and 11 sixteenths. And I had to measure because <laughs> I just usually eyeball it at this point when I want to mat things. So I sort of just place the little piece of paper or whatever that I want to mat on top of something and then I just sort of cut it and then figure it out from there. So that's why that's an odd size. But you will see that I'm going to adhere the uh, pattern paper piece with the sentiment piece attached. So that's this piece right here. And then I'm going to um, adhere it to the white mat. And that's not the only mat. There's going to be a misty moonlight mat and you can see that at the bottom right. And that misty moonlight mat is three and seven eighths wide and two and seven eighths inches tall. And I am adhering the whole little piece. You'll see how well this works with this design. So I'm using the pattern paper. I'm trying to use all the pattern paper up and I'm just sort of matting it to make like, uh, so that the sentiment pops, so that the designer series paper is the focal point of the card. And also that um, this, this becomes a wow card, even though there's no die cutting, no nothing. So here is my designer series paper. This again is whimsy and wonder, and you can't get it anymore. Uh, it has been sold out. It was an extremely popular paper and now um, yeah it's all sold out but I'm sure that you can use some of the papers that you have on hand if you needed to recreate this design. So here I am putting my pattern paper down and then my little sentiment piece above and uh, with all the mats and it just pops so so lovely. Um, I'm using Seal Plus. Sometimes I, it's a love-hate relationship. I love how sticky it is, but sometimes it does have a tendency to be a little finicky. Um, I get over myself though, because sometimes I'm a little finicky. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I don't mind f fidgeting with it a little bit. So this is the last card here uh, that I'm putting together and I will use my bone folder to fold these guys up. And I think I ended up with 10 cards 
for this mass production session. So you can see all the supplies I use today listed below in the video see more section or in the supplies section of my blog. And those fast links will take you to my Canadian online store. I would love the chance to meet you and earn your business. Thank you so very much for watching with me today and bye for now.